The Big Bad Wolf features in many, many fairy tales. And in this book, there is no Big Bad Wolf in this story, which is by Lou Carter and Deborah Allwright. We discover that our Big Bad Wolf friend is torn because he can't be in two places or three places or even four places at once. And we're going to pick up in this story where he should have been with the three little pigs, but he's so busy he's on to his next story. He must get to Grandma's house before Little Red Riding Hood arrives. Get a move on, Mr Wolf. You're supposed to be in our story, says Grandma. Poor Wolf, he's absolutely frazzled. In fact, he's even fallen over. How exactly am I supposed to be in two stories at the same time? It's completely impossible. And you are always cross with me and I won't put up with it anymore. From now on, there'll be no big bad wolf in any of your stories. They can totally manage without him, can't they? Can't they? Everyone tries their best, but big bad wolfing, it's much harder than it looks. We've got our witch blowing away here, trying to blow the houses down. We've got our three little pigs, even grandma and little red riding hood are trying to blow the houses down. It's not going very well. Fortunately, Dragon has come to help. He will be excellent at huffing and puffing. There he is. Or maybe not. Huffing and puffing is not the best job for a dragon. What a disaster. We really need a big bad wolf in this story, says Little Red Riding Hood. But where is he? Says the gingerbread man. Aha, here he is. And there he is, there he is. Please, please help us, Mr Wolf. All our stories are burning down, says Grandma, and no one can huff and puff like you, says the second little pig. But Wolf doesn't want to help, does he? Does he? Actually, he does. Because no one can huff and puff like a big, bad 